I just had a beautiful inversion table session and a little bit of love yoga with Gypsy. But now I need to go out and spray my fruit trees against mites that cause curl leaf and other predatory issues that interfere with the production of fruit. I'm using this Vivison compressor spray and I'm also using this Green Earth Dormant spray. It's horticultural oil and lime sulfur. And apparently it's a two to one ratio. So to make five liters of this, I need to use 10 tablespoons of this and five tablespoons of this and then fill it with five liters of water. Pretty simple. This particular thing comes already pre-constructed with a bag of extra rings and a, an extra little cap. When you see this, you might be thinking that they didn't put these rings in these particular things. No, they did. These are just extras. Now the first thing you know, need to know is how to get into this. This has a locking mechanism. There's a notch here and then there's a hole on either side. So there's like a cavity and there's these things here. This thing right here needs to go into that notch and then you turn it left or right and that locks it. To create the pressure, you need to bring it up and then you pump it. And this here is a pressure release as well as on the handle, if you press this, it will release pressure from the tip. The most appropriate way is to is just to lift this valve up. Oh, I'm upstairs and it's easier to fill this up in my kitchen sink, but how do you fill it up? You need to make certain that this cylinder comes right out. You need to make certain that this is locked to the left because you're going to then turn this to the left and it's going to pull this whole cylinder out and then that's where you put your fluid. So I've already put my stuff in and filled it with water and now by turning this handle making certain that that's locked that's what screws it in now to pump it I simply pull it up to the point where those notches come out of those holes and then that's when I begin to pump it I'm not going to do that right now because I I'm not ready to go outside to do this just yet but that's how you get the fluid in it's very important to know that when you work with this type of material, you need to wear gloves, you need to wear a mask, and you should have something covering all of your clothes. So I'm going to jump into my getup, go outside, pull the trees out of the shed, and then I will show you my getup and show you how to spray the trees. I guess while I'm out here, I can untie all my bags and expose the plants to the sun and the air. Get rid of this ice. Mission accomplished. So now it's just a matter of letting them dry and then these trees will stay out. So I pulled off all the fig trees from these shelves and the mulberry trees and fig trees from that shelf. Those are all fig trees as are all of these and then the two cherry trees. So they'll come out next month in May as will the fig trees. So long as the weather is above 8 degrees Fahrenheit day and night then they can come out. But for now I made progress. And now these trees will just stay out here. They've been sprayed, they're dried, it's plus seven degrees Fahrenheit today, so they'll be fine even if it gets cold. But I did notice that they are starting to get their little buds, as you can see, which is good. So I got them at just the right time, and I brought out the mulberries and placed them here for now. And while I was spraying, I sprayed my grape and all of my roses at the front. That will prevent black mildew. It's interesting, the most difficult part of that task was figuring out how the pressure spare worked. The spraying itself was really easy, a bit messy, just because the wind was sort of circling around. So to prevent myself from breathing it in, I had to do a little song and dance, but uh, gardening season has officially begun. I'm excited. Tip 
Gypsy. Hi. Hi, Yanni. Hi, you. Hi. Where you going? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come here. Come here where I can see you. Come here. <laughs> Good girl. Not too far. Have to be able to reach you. Did you have a nice little sleep? No scratching. No scratching. No, no. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. Let's do this right then, shall we?
Well, that feels better.